here again uh, with another video. But first, I want to say thank you to everyone who's liked, commented, shared, and interacted with all the posts we've done so far. It's been a really good time getting to get to know you guys a little better, and maybe giving you guys a little bit of insight into uh, what's going on with me. So in the last video, I talked about uh, how I got started into racing and that whole story, but I never really got to touch on my very first race. And that's kind of an experience that uh, was a little bit of a mess to start with um, from, from a lot of different standpoints. Uh, we had just built a brand new car, well not brand new, but a used car, kind of repainted it, rebodied it, all that stuff. Over the winter of 2006. So we came out in the spring of 2007. Auto City Speedway in Clio, Michigan, where I had my first race. And uh, boy, it was sure an awakening ex experience for me and my family. Um, from the standpoint of nerves, really, I would say, um, from a driving standpoint. And that's kind of where we had a lot of issues because I hadn't raced anything before. This was my first, uh, first venture in competitive racing. So um, having a bunch of other cars on the track was extremely intimidating, to say the least. Um, but that first race kind of opened my eyes to that, so to speak. Even in practice, you know, getting passed by all the fast guys, Levi Rouster and different people like that, that it were just so fast in the series. Rick Kilborn, you know, previous champions and people that have been around for a long time. You're out there on the track suddenly with them going, oh my gosh, what am I going to do out here, you know? So we started that first race in the back, finished two laps down, all those different things, you know, really, really took, uh, took a huge lick in terms of uh, confidence, <laughs> I would say because I just kind of got out of that car and said, I have a lot to learn. Um, but one thing that um, I would try to change a little bit would be to try to help myself with my nerves by just talking a little bit more with other drivers, people like Levi and Rick and um, Frank Giovanni, Ryan Meldrum, those guys um, that, that really, really knew what they were doing to try to calm myself down. But at the same time, we kind of went in not knowing. You know, and it, the best thing to do is to just kind of go in the fire with two feet and, and see what happened. And we did. Um, and it kind of turned out okay. Um, you know, as, as years go on in racing that I've found, um, I learn something new every single year that I race. And whether it's online on iRacing or whether it's in person in the 92 car, I learn something new every time on the track. And I think that's kind of... Um, one thing for people that are learning a new trade or learning something new is having the willingness to learn. Um, and that's something that I had and I still have to this day because I don't know it all. Um, so I think that's one little piece of advice that I would pass along and something that I've taken to heart is just always being willing to learn um, and always being able to, uh, to keep learning new things to improve. So that is the story of the very first race. Uh, the 92 car back then looked a little bit different than this. It was a bright red car at that point, but uh, and some of you might remember that nice little bubble coupe we had. But So anyway, to wrap it up, thanks guys for watching. Keep liking, sharing, and interacting, and, uh, and we'll get some feedback going. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.